Well, we're on day two here. Um, we're going to hunt in a different spot. One reason we didn't go in in the morning because we've never hunted this spot. And, um, to me, it's uh, useless and senseless to try to be going into a spot first thing in the morning and not, not have ever hunted there. So you don't even know where the tree, which tree you're gonna get in. But uh, Jacob's in front of me. We're actually going to hunt around the same lake, but we're gonna hunt the op an opposite side of it and try a different thing, so. But anyhow, I'm gonna get off here so I can um, drive. yesterday and uh it was all right it was a decent spot but uh jacob actually while he was waiting for me to get down at the boat said he heard all kinds of ruckus over here and these leaves over here and so we came over here today which uh, i sort of eyeballed it yesterday because i could tell some good hardwoods and if you can see up in here there's oaks all over the place and uh i actually don't see any acorns acorns on the ground but and the wind's blowing this way we're gonna try try to get up over in there and ke catch them coming around into this oak flat it stinks. It stinks of deer yeah it stinks stinks of deer in here so hopefully we won't spook any uh, and hope we can find some sign and set up on some sign all right Jacob he went back to this one spot that um, we found a rub on the trail. I went on up, and I, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a trail that runs right here. And uh, right down there is a, a scrape. I'm trying to figure out how to get positioned up here in one of these trees. Bad thing is it's all, I mean, there's like no cover whatsoever. So I gotta figure out how to get in one of these trees and sort of give me some cover by a tree next to me. So that's what I'm trying to figure out to do here. All right, I moved up just a little bit. And uh, there's definitely a scrape right here. And some looking branches. So this is definitely the spot. Just gotta figure out which trail I want to get in. Got the rack rub. Got the doe estrus gel. And the buck tarsal. I'm gonna freshen up this scrape. Maybe piss off a buck. Well, I'm in the tree. But I could not decide which side of the trail I wanted to be on, which was going to be best. I had to sit here and watch the wind for a little bit and, and think about the sun, which way the sun was setting. I didn't want it in my eyes. I needed a tree to block it um, because the way the wind was blowing, if I'd been on that side of the trail, I'd been blowing my wind over the trail down there. So I decided to sit on this side of the trail. I had to pick, I picked this tree that's got three trees side by side some right behind me I'm hopefully gonna like it's gonna um, block some of my me break me up that's what I'm hoping for it's 
and it moves real easy. But if I move steady, slow, it don't move as bad. And so I'm hoping that works. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm in the tree, um, 1249. But Jacob's done ripped his pants and he's bleeding over there going through the briars. But man, I'm, I'm in a good spot. I'm telling you, I am in a good spot. I wish he would have come over here with me. Because I think he would have done good right over there. But um, lots of times when you have people too close to each other, one can mess the other up. So uh, it is what it is, and we'll see what happens. Well, that's a wrap for night two. Got to rip and get out of here. I got to, we got to canoe all the way across this thing and uh, get out of here. And uh, but uh, didn't see a deer at all this afternoon. But that's the way it goes. Sometimes you don't see them, and uh, it just is what it is. And we'll be I'm satisfied that I sat out here and I had a good time. I found this scrape. Uh, Real tempted to hunt back in this area. I don't know if I can talk to Jacob into doing it or not, but we'll find out. Paddling out in the dark. This is the exciting crap that we get to do as YouTube hunters. Uh, any hunter gets to do this we don't have to be a youtube hunter but we do get things no, we do put ourselves through some um places that uh yeah, you go through a little bit of extra just you, to, like try to yeah you, to yeah but i mean really there's nothing special about us other than we're trying really hard to bring y'all some footage that's the only yeah. the only thing is we're trying our best to bring some footage well it's uh 8 30 in the morning uh jacob already went hunting this morning i uh i don't particularly like canoeing across this lake in the dark and uh because there's some dangerous stuff out there to get hung up on left the canoe kind of deal uh so i'm uh, going in right now in the morning and gonna sit uh, throughout the middle of the day all the way up to the evening so uh, we'll see what I get this is uh, day three basically and uh, I've been enjoying it enjoying the pretty woods and uh, I've only seen one deer Jacob uh, says it's hard to kill a deer here in Indiana he says it's tough um, I, I think it's tough everywhere, but uh, it's just a matter of figuring out what they're doing and where they're going. I'm going to hunt that scrape I hunted yesterday evening again, and um, I, I really feel good about it. Uh, like I said, I juiced it up yesterday, and uh, maybe there'll be a buck hanging out. Uh, I'll juice it up again. I'm, I'm a firm believer in that code blue. I've, I've seen it work, so uh, going to try it. Get at it. The water is just as calm as can be out here. I bet you if you move in those woods, it'll make all kinds of rackets. So when I get over there, I might have to be real careful about what I'm doing. But it's it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day to be on a lake in Indiana uh, and in the woods. Well. 11:23. I'm in the tree. Um, the fishing times app I've, I've been going by for 10 years, and Blaine pretty accurate. Uh, says it's going to be lots of activity at two. It's going to be a peak of activity basically. Uh, 
rangefinder says I'm 25 foot in the air. Well, this level is, is 25 foot, so I'd say my my feet are about 21, 22 feet. Uh, it's quiet. The wind's low. I'm telling you, I think I'm gonna have some deer activity. It just goes to simple fact. Um, deer really like traveling when there's no wind or, or low wind because it's not making so much noise that they can't distinguish stuff. So anyhow, we'll get quiet, sit up here and see what happens. And uh, hopefully it'll, it'll pan out. We're gonna call that a wrap for day three. Uh, Cause I gotta hurry up and get out of here. Um, there's a certain time you gotta be out of here. And, uh, between canoeing and loading the boat and all that, I, I've got to be out of here. And I really hate, I hate leaving this early. But I really don't have a choice. So, anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and get down and get out of this place. Alrighty, it's uh, the last day here in Indiana. Um, we're gonna go, it's, what time is it? 10.02. 10.02. We're hunting a totally different spot. We're not even using the canoe. Hopefully I'll have the canoe still here sitting here when I get back out this afternoon. Uh, I don't think they're gonna steal it. But we're gonna go hunt back here in these woods. Uh, we've got ag fields, an ag field right there. Um, notice it says no hunting we can't hunt that but we're going to go back here and hunt the corner basically and see what we can uh, come up with it's uh it's been unseasonably warm right now it's going to be it's supposed to be 74 today I, i'm i'm feeling kind of warm because uh, i then acclimated myself to the blame uh cooler weather i think the heat for sure has definitely been throwing us for a loop this week i think it's it's keeping the deer movement down yeah, I think they're mainly doing it mostly at night. On my cameras, I'm, I'm getting, getting a lot of night pictures. I'm, if, it, if it's anything, it's like first thing, like first 60 seconds of leaving. Yeah. You know, but so. any which way, uh, he says hunting Indiana is harder. Period. So, and I'm beginning to believe him. Uh, it's it's been it's been a tough hunt, uh, but I'm gonna feel really optimistic about this afternoon. So we're gonna go get at it. She was back over here, 
dropping that stuff. And she caught me. So. Ain't much I can do about it. Just, uh, like I was discussing with Jacob on the phone. Good thing is she didn't blow but once. She sat there and blowed and blowed and blowed and blowed and blowed and blowed. I, I've been like wanting to get down on this stand, but she only blew once. So I still feel confident we got plenty of time and uh, could definitely see some deer. So I'm going to get off here and watch.
it's a wrap. We'll call it a day. It's my last shooting night. I like, I actually even wanted to pass camera light, unlike I usually do. Um, I mean, if I would have had one come out, I would have shot it and just filmed the recovery because, I mean, y'all, I couldn't have got any of the footage for y'all. Just to, the floor is dark, dark now. Floor of the woods. Um, still got the possum crawling by me right there, but uh, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and pack up and get down. And this is the end of the, the three and a half day up here in Indiana. Uh, I'm uh, let that three pointer walk. I'm, I'm going to come back up here, even if I have to drive the three hours and, and hunt the evening up here several times. I'm going to still come up here and try to get my fill my tag because um, three and a half hours ain't that bad to drive I can get up early in the morning and drive up here and then hunt the the, the evening so uh, I'll let y'all later